Today we're going to create a stunning, toasty, nude, latte-inspired makeup look that's all about embracing your natural beauty. And currently it's trending on TikTok. In this makeup tutorial, we're gonna be using minimal products, velvety colors, and mostly nude. So we're gonna just get a latte-inspired makeup look. Hi everyone, my name is Yalda. Welcome back to my channel, Young Beauty Glow. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here and click the bell icon so you're updated with my future uploads. So let's just get started and achieve this effortless latte glow. To get the flawless latte makeup, we have to prep the skin first. Start by cleansing your face thoroughly to ensure a clean canvas for the makeup application. Apply a lightweight hydrating primer to keep your skin smooth and ready for the makeup. Once you're done with everything, let's start enhancing our complexion. I'll be blending this bronzer with my flawless filter and this method is absolutely perfect for the summer as it imparts the skin with an incredible lit from within glow and a subtle hint of color, almost like a glowy tinted bronzer. After evenly coating the brush with a thin layer, I'll be bronzing the forehead using a dense fluffy brush to ensure a seamless blend. Alternatively, you can even use the tip of your fingers to gentle blend it onto your skin. For that warm sun-kissed glow, take a bronzer and apply it in a three shape on both sides of your face. Starting from your temples, sweeping under your cheekbones and finishing it at your jawline. Oh my god guys the bronzer it is so beautiful i think i'm gonna go like this the whole summer like oh my god this is so pretty instead of using foundation i'll opt for a tinted moisturizer or a baby cream that matches my skin tone and apply it with the tip of my fingers for a sheer and natural coverage focusing on the areas that needs a little extra evening out i'm going to buff out the lines using a dense brush making sure the bronzer is blended with my tinted moisturizer use a creamy concealer to spot conceal any blemishes or redness blending it with a gentle patting motion i like to put my concealer on the back of my hand so it can get a little bit warm and then i could just put under my eyes using a brush first I like to put the concealer under my eyes and leave it for a little bit while I put some on the forehead and on my spot areas to achieve that latte glow on the skin I'll take that dense brush and gentle tap and buff the concealer into the skin creating a thin and a natural layer of coverage I'm just gonna focus right on my forehead I'm not dragging this too high because we don't want to ruin that bronzer that we applied at the same time I'm just gonna bring that same concealer uh, on the bottom my nose so I can get that contour effect keeping it very close to my eyes and on the dark areas I'm making sure that there's nothing on the brush and I'm just blending the concealer onto my skin and making sure that line with the bronzer it doesn't look too harsh the next step is to add a touch of healthy flush I'm gonna add revolution liquid highlighter with urban decay liquid blush I want to make my own blush so I'm gonna add a drop of a rosy highlighter I'm gonna add a drop of the urban decay I also want to add a little bit drop of of a rare beauty blush now we're gonna give this a mix oh that's that's beautiful for a natural and rosy glow smile and apply the blush to the apples of your cheeks blending it slightly upwards and towards your temples now let's add some soft glossy highlight I'm gonna use a rare beauty liquid highlighter dab a dewy highlighter on the high points of your face such as the tops of your cheekbones the bridge of your nose and your cupic bone choose a highlighter with a glossy finish for that healthy sheen now I'm gonna set under my eyes using Charlotte Tilbury um, powder and I'm just gonna grab a small brush and just set under my eyes so we can avoid creases this is the only thing we're going to set the whole face with just a little bit powder making sure that there's no creases So we're pretty much done with the face. 
Let's move to the eyes. Let's do an eye opening brows to complement our latte makeup look. So brush through your brows with a clean spoolie to groom them naturally. Fill in any empty areas with a brow pencil or brow gel that matches your hair color. Keep the hair strokes light and feathering for a soft look. Now I'm gonna apply some eyebrow gel so I can hold my hair up. Hairs that are really thick and bushy, they usually come down and it just covers the eyelid and I don't like that. The next step of the eyes is to warm up the eyes. I'm gonna use this palette. Palette. I think I don't want to apply any kind of concealer on my eyelid because my eyelid is pretty much like a latte color so we are just gonna keep it the way it is and jump into the eyeshadow so take a warm beige or a light brown eyeshadow and apply it as a transition shade in your crease using a fluffy blending brush take a warm tone velvety eyeshadow and a medium brown shade and apply it to your outer eyelid crease using a small blending brush use the same eyeshadow to lightly define your your lower lash line softly smudging it for a natural appearance just naturally try to create that wing with the eyeshadow now for the start of the show pick a soft espresso shade and pat it onto your outer corner eyelid and keep that wing soft and straight and building up the color for intensity make sure that the espresso color seamlessly blend with the brown eyeshadow that we applied earlier in the outer corner with very small amount of concealer I'm just making sure that the line looks soft and smooth before going to the eyelid Liner, we're gonna make sure that the transition looks smooth so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it one more time blend everything looks seamlessly blend to define your eyes a little bit more line your upper lash line with a dark brown eyeliner creating a subtle wing on the outer corner keep it very thin in the inner corner now let's define the lower lash line I'm using a very thin brow eyeliner on the lower lash line by creating a small outer corner line and blending it in with a detailed brush and diffusing that line inward and outward making sure keeping a gap between the upper and the lower wing I also want to add a little bit of nude eyeliner like right in my eyes so it can merge with this line that looks white on the outer corner. Let's curl our lashes with an eyelash curler to open up our eyes more. Apply a coat or two coats of mascara to your upper lash only, keeping the lower lash bare for a fresh and minimal look. Add your individual falsies, keeping it very subtle. So I just added two individual lashes from Kiss, the glueless ones. So I just put two on the outer corners and look how pretty it looks. So last step of our latte look is to do the lip. We can either keep the lips matte or we can keep the lips glossy lips. I have seen both combos on TikTok. We're just gonna try and see which one looks good. First apply a hydrating lip balm to your lips for a smooth base. Fill in only the upper lip line with a brown lip liner to make it look more fuller. Choose a glossy nude lip color or a lip gloss and a toasty nude shade. Apply it to your lips for a juicy plump. Or you can simply just keep it with the lip liner alone. Now spray your face with a hydrating setting spray to set your makeup up and give your skin an extra boost of freshness oh my god guys I think this is gonna be my favorite makeup look of all my makeup tutorials next week I'm going to vacation so the entire vacation I'm gonna look like this like this is so stunning and beautiful summer look this is a perfect toasty nude latte makeup inspired are you guys seeing this body glow oh my god look at the body glow so beautiful I'll tag it in the description. We have achieved the perfect toasty nude latte inspired makeup look that combines velvety eyes and lips with a healthy glossy skin. This minimal product approach enhances your natural beauty giving you that effortless latte glow. If this video was helpful to you give your girl a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel right here and click the bell icon for future uploads. I love you guys like always. Stay beautiful and stay radiant. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!